Ahead of his transfer to this morning, Ben Shepard gave a moving homage to co-host of Good Morning Britain and on-screen wife of 20 years, Kate Garraway. After much conjecture, the 49-year-old broadcaster and 47-year-old Cad Dealey were revealed as the new hosts of the ITV show on Friday. But before deciding to accept the position of Philip Schofield's replacement, Ben stated that giving up his presentation duties with friend Kate, 56, was the hardest decision. The popular television personality, who has been hosting GMB since 2014, disclosed that it would be convenient for him to drop by for a quick catch-up because of the nearby studios. Stating, knowing that my mornings with Kate, my on-screen wife of nearly 20 years, are coming to an end is of course one of the hardest decisions. Ben went on, her journey has been well documented, and I think we would all agree how remarkable she has been over the last four years, speaking briefly about the tragic loss of her cherished husband Derek Draper Ben. I have learned so much from her, as I have from all of the people I've been fortunate enough to work alongside, but I won't miss the mess. Following the announcement, Kate expressed her gratitude to Ben and Kat on Instagram and acknowledged how much she will miss their collaboration. She said, Massive congrats to Adbenchafart official on the at ITV at this morning gig, beside a picture of them laughing. You will be greatly missed by all of the at GMB viewers, the team, and myself in particular. But nobody will mind your time off for good behavior after 24 years of hard work on my part. Good luck trading in your early mornings for, a little, of a lie-in and a cate for a cat, before continuing. I'm excited to see you, at Cat Dealey, you'll have a blast. After Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield left the show a few months ago, Cat and Ben were reportedly in negotiations to debut the following month. The celebrity, who was reportedly paid £43,000 an episode on So You Think You Can Dance in the US, is apparently leaving the show to take a job on this morning, where she would reportedly make £550,000 a year. It was rumored that she had finally been won over with a more lucrative offer, but ITV insiders refuted the rumors, stating that the opportunity to spend more time with her family, rather than a large financial payout, was what ultimately sealed the deal. A custom teaser on this morning's Twitter verified the story. It had been strolling along the well-known production hallway, hanging a fresh portrait of Cat, and then turning to face the camera as the image came to life. Being a part of the next chapter of this morning feels like a really special moment for Cat and me, Ben remarked. It's an honor to be given the reins, to work with Allison, Dermot, and the entire team that puts in such amazing work both on and off screen that I've been waking up with our ITV afternoon audience on GMB for the past 10 years. And now I look forward to hanging out with Cat. Welcoming viewers with a cup of tea and a combination of everything that makes this morning so beloved when they return from their early morning or school run. This morning is a national institution, continued Cat. It's like having your pals over whenever it's on, funny, witty, goofy, emotional, educational, and joyful, like all the best friendships, this morning is the audience's show, and it always will be. I know how much people adore it, and Ben and I will do all in our power to take care of it with the support of an incredible team. Friday hosts Dermot O'Leary and Alison Hammond talked about the news throughout the show while displaying a vintage photo of Ben, Andy Peters, and Dermot. Ben at T4 that's actually from last week. Dermot jokes, to which Alison shot back, look at Andy Peters. Dermot then turned to talk about Cat, saying, I've known Kat for so long. Allison then related that she first met Kat approximately four years ago at a party in Los Angeles, where they bonded over their shared Birmingham ancestry. Dermot was told by her, I met her in LA. Both of us are Brummies. We first met at a gathering in Los Angeles approximately four years ago. We are overjoyed that they will be joining Ben and Kat's family. It is going to be really, really lovely. The secret is out, declared Dermot, as Allison disclosed that, they are joining us in March. The team and I have relished the opportunity to try new things these past few months and remind viewers what a massively talented team both on and off screen we have here at This Morning, said Martin Frizzle, editor of This Morning, next month.
We're eager to officially welcome Ben and Kat into the fold and see the beginning of an exciting new chapter in the 35-year history of the show. I feel immensely proud of everyone working on this morning, for a program that has evolved many times over the last 35 years, it remains just as relevant and exciting as ever, said Emma Gormley, managing director of ITV Studios Daytime. We are overjoyed that Ben and Kat will be hosting this morning. And we can't wait to see them soon on that renowned sofa together. So many obstacles had to be negotiated to get there, one insider at the channel said, adding that they are thrilled with the pair's agreement. This morning's Friday broadcast will feature a discussion of their appointment. The pair was at the top of the list, but Kat declined the position in December due to her inability to dedicate the necessary time to the program. She did, however, agree after more discussions and the promise of additional funds. According to one insider, Kat was the one they wanted all along, and they have her at last. It's amazing news for them. Many wondered how she would continue to host the US show So You Think You Can Dance, which she has done since the second season in 2006. This was after rumors started circulating last month. The news on Friday seems to corroborate that she has chosen the UK over her US fame, since sources had previously stated she would not receive any preferential treatment when it came to taking time off to travel to the US and continue earning £43,000 per episode. Rather than her US position, Kat's role on this morning would put her closer to her husband, Patrick, who hosts Ireland's The Late Late Show and with whom she shares two children. It's probable that Kat made the abrupt decision for financial gain because she will be receiving a huge salary as the new host. It was stated when rumors of her joining the show initially surfaced last year that she and Ben would be paid £555,000. Even though the pay was substantial, it was little compared to what former hosts Holly and Phil were reportedly paid per year, roughly £700,000, for their roles. But Kat isn't short on cash, she presently hosts So You Think You Can Dance in the States, where she reportedly makes at least £344,000 a season, or £43,000 every episode. Kat has been splitting her time between the US and the UK for production, with the new series scheduled to premiere in March. People were curious about her plans regarding her contract with This Morning and if she would be able to manage her LA work in addition to it. Though brand and culture expert Nikki said she could treble her this morning pay with sponsor partnerships online, it seems she won't be keeping both positions for financial gain. I can see Kat making a lot of money partnering with brands like John Lewis and MNS who will be vying for her to wear their items, Nick remarked, citing Kat's popularity in the fashion world, she has the potential to make over £200,000 from fashion partnerships in addition to her own scent. Which I'm sure will be an immediate hit she might be able to work with a company like L'Oreal or Charlotte Tilbury, for which she could get paid a cool pound 250000 This morning's presenter, Kat, is ideal. She has a large following of people who spent Saturday mornings growing up with her, and she has always been a trustworthy person, she is well known for being a lot of fun, but she can also strike a balance when it comes to contentious issues, which is why she and Ben will be a terrific match. As the host of the popular show So You Think You Dance. Kat has a lot of appeal in the US, which makes her an excellent choice for brands trying to grow or establish brand partnerships in the US and UK. It follows reports that Kat and ITV executives are at odds over her new position and her long standing presence on So You Think You Can Dance. Insiders disclosed last month that Kat and Ben had won the coveted positions as permanent hosts following the departure of longtime stalwarts Holly and Phil. Allegations surfaced that Kat preferred Rylan Clark to Ben as a co-host and that she will not receive preferential treatment to allow her to continue her pound 344k season role on the American dance show and her Monday to Thursday role on this morning. According to sources, Kat's won't receive any special care. She will not, under any circumstances, be granted a break to film the upcoming season of So You Think You Can Dance. She is therefore forced to choose, it's either slash or. Although Kat reportedly really wanted the job, she was worried about how she and her husband Patrick Keelty would manage their time given his obligations in Ireland.
Kat told friends that she wanted the job, if she could make it work, the insider said. But she also worried that it would be extremely difficult for her to accept the position because of Patrick's obligations in Ireland. She also wanted to do it with Rylan with all of her heart. Last year, when rumors of Kat joining the show originally surfaced, it was said that she and Ben would be paid £555,000. Even though the pay was substantial, it was little compared to what former hosts Holly and Phil were reportedly paid per year, roughly £700,000, for their roles. But Kat isn't short on cash, she presently hosts So You Think You Can Dance in the States, where she reportedly makes at least £344,000 a season, or £43,000 every episode. Kat has been splitting her time between the US and the UK for production, with the new series scheduled to premiere in March. It occurs after Holly, who has not been permanently replaced, departed the program in October of last year for the sake of her family after learning that she was the subject of an aborted kidnapping and murder attempt. It happened five months after Philip's exit, following reports of a deteriorating relationship with his co-host and the revelation of his affair with a young, male showrunner. Following his May infidelity scandal, which resulted in his termination from this morning after more than 20 years on the program, Philip has stepped back from the public eye in recent months. When his affair eventually came to light, following much conjecture about his personal life, he acknowledged being broken and ashamed, but he maintained he was not a groomer. Being mates with his girlfriend, he claimed the romance never came across as an abuse of power. I was unprofessional, once, in a 41-year career, he said to the son. There's no justification. Except for me, no one did anything improper. The 61-year-old anchor stated, I did not, I did not, groom him, in his first interview after quitting the station and this morning, allegations of every description abound. We'd become pals, so it never came across that way. I'm not familiar with that. Naturally, I am aware that there will be a harsh judgment, but keep in mind that I have never used that. Philip apologized at the time to a number of people, including Stephanie Lowe, his wife of 30 years, and Holly, his co-presenter of 14 years. How about Craig and Josie? The public responds to Cat Dealey and Safe Ben Shepard being this morning's new permanent hosts. After this morning introduced Cat and Ben as their new permanent presenters, viewers responded by questioning why Josie Gibson and Craig Doyle had not been chosen. A number of fans praised the new pair as class acts, but others thought Craig, 53, and Josie, 39, who have been hosting this morning for months, were better deserving of the position. However, supporters believe that Ben and Kat are a safe pick that will help steer the This Morning ship toward more stable waters starting next month. After Dermot O'Leary and Alison Hammond revealed Kat and Ben's signing on Friday's show, viewers took to X, formerly Twitter, to express their opinions. I think Ben will be excellent, maybe a touch safe, but it's what the show needs right now, while the Kat verdict is still pending, they added. We finally have two amazing presenters this morning, and excellent news, but I still believe Josie and Craig deserved better than this. How about Craig and Josie, and Ben and Kat as the new hosts? Wonderful news. Another person remarked, this morning has two amazing presenters at last. Ben was shown in the inaugural film strolling backstage in the studio, announcing the new hosts. On Instagram, a number of the This Morning hosts expressed their congratulations. Craig commented, Congratulations guys, did someone say drinks, and Josie added, I feel a work welcome party coming on, to demonstrate that there were no bitter feelings. With a geek, Rochelle Humes wrote. Dermot exclaimed, Hooray! Greetings from the family.